Hello guys, I am Flash Isaac. Today I'll be taking you through a log reading. Introduction to log reading. Now, what is log reading or log in short form? Log reading is the, how many times you multiply one number to get another. For example, if I say log 8 to base 2, this is trying to ask us how many times do we multiply these two to get it. So log two to uh, log eight base two is equals three. This implies that we multiply two three times to get eight. So two times two times two is equals eight. So that's what log is about. And if you have something like this also, let's say one over two log 2 8 it still doesn't change much this is 1 over 2 times log 8 to base 2 and log 8 with base 2 is 8 so this is 8 so this will give you 4 so that's what log is about how many times or how many of one number you multiply to get another log 2 base 16 now what does it tell you it simply means how many times do we multiply 2 to get 16 so the number of times we have to multiply one number to get another so let's look at this 2 times 2 4 times 2 8 times 2 is 16 so log 16 with base 2 is 4 this implies that we have to multiply 2 4 times to get 16 let's say 1 over 2 uh, log 16 to base 2 so what you do is bring out the 1 over 2 times then the answer log 16 to base 2 is 4 like we solved then multiply this this will give you 1 over 2 times 4 this will give you 4 over 2 1 times 4 over 2 4 is the same thing as 4 over 1 so 1 times 4 is 4 2 times 1 is 2 so this will give you 2. That's 4 divided by 2. Log 5, 6, 2, 5. So this means how many of 5 do we have in 6, 2, 5? Or how many times do we need to multiply 5 to get 6, 2, 5? So the answer is 4. This is because 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 will give you 6, 2, 5. You can point that in your calculator. So that is the number of times we have to get this. So if you say, okay, 1 over 8 log 5, log 6 to 5 to base 5. This is the same thing as 1 over 8 times 4. Because we've solved this uh, to get 4. So this will give you 4 over 8. This is 1 over 2 in fraction or 0 0.5 in decimal. So that's a good introduction to log reading. Now take a look at them and see whether it makes sense to you. Let's see the relationship between indices and log reading. So look at this. Uh, log 8 to with base 2 is equals 3. Now look at it. Log 8 with base 2 equals 3. Now I told you uh, log means how many times we multiply 2 to get 8 or how many times we divide 8 to get 2. So when you divide it uh, 3 times, you get 2. Now, take a cross, look at this. Once you take this this way, 2 to the answer, you have, let's say, 2 raised to the power 3. So, this will give you 8. So, while uh, indices has to do with exponents or power, this has to do with how many you multiply to get another number. So this is indices, which is exponents, 2 times 2 times 2, so why this is logarithm. So this is how they relate. Uh, logarithm tells us what the exponent is. I told you that indices means powers, solving in powers. So uh, logarithm tells us what power is in indices. For example, if I say 3 raised to the power of s is equals 100, and I say find, find s, and I say find s, now this is the power, right? 
So logarithm tells us what this power is. Simply say log uh, log hundred log hundred base ten. So the answer you get is equals this power. It tells you what the power is. So it's equals two. So this one is now the power. S is equals two. Now if I, I can just come and say what is log hundred like this without putting base. So if you are giving a log number, log 100 or log anything without base, it simply means to base 10. So when you get something like this, there is no base, simply assume log 10, 100. So without base, assume uh, uh, 10. So that is the standard your calculator uses. And there is also a log uh, to base E. In your calculator, you see something like E lean, in or uh, log e so in this case the base is different so uh, look at what this one makes use of so log e makes use of this base 2.71828 as the base so this is a Euler's number so if i say log e and i give you number let's say 7.256 or any random number this e or this base is simply this your last number so this is log 2.71828 7.256 so it is written as in so if you say uh, in or lean as some people will call it if you press in or lean your calculator in let's say 7.256 it simply means log to base 2.71828 so this is the base and this is the number so to use that base to solve in that case it will not be how many times you multiply this to get the particular number so that's all for introduction to logarithm so check out my video on the um, loss of logarithm and questions involving logarithm you may also want to check out my indices videos Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.